Hello, welcome to another Mail Day video, a UK edition. And I have the big box here, ready to open, and it's been waiting for me for quite a while. I thought that I would uh, indulge in the recent HMV Arrow video uh, 5 for 30, or was it 3 for 20 sale. So, I think kind of spurred on from how much I loved Phenomena, uh, the recent Arrow video release, and it just really kind of reignited my my interest and passion for our video titles, so there was a lot I wanted, so I picked out quite a few, and here we have the big box with all of them inside, and we're going to go through them very, uh, very quickly, uh, because I haven't seen any of them, so that this should be fun. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to uh, do a ranking of them, because I haven't seen any of them, but I'm going to show them to you in order of how excited I am about each individual title. So it should be a little bit of fun, a little bit different than a normal mail day video, so let's get right to it, and here we go. Okay, here are the ten titles in question, and I'm going to flip them around and show them to you in the, the order of the, the least anticipation to the most anticipation. So let me find somewhere to put them. Okay, number one. Hell Comes to Frogtown. Uh, I have no illusions to this being a good film whatsoever. Uh, Roddy Piper, a film called Hell Comes to Frogtown, sounds incredible to me. It sounds like a good time. It sounds like fun schlock. Uh, this was one of the like rare out of print Arrow titles that kind of had a limited run, sold out, and was going for crazy money. And then they decided to release it again, and now it's going quite cheap. Uh, and this one, and another thing I should say is that most of these don't have the booklets anymore because Arrow have taken to re-releasing their their titles without booklets and have done new editions without the booklets and so it's very um, weird to pick up an Arrow title that feels really cheap and light just like any other regular release and I know it doesn't really matter we get the the gorgeous artwork the great on disc content which should matter more than anything else but there's something a bit off about an Arrow video title that just feels very flimsy and light. You know, these are made of helium, so they're very light. Um, Hell Comes to Frogtown, looking forward to it. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll get around to watching it, but it's definitely one I will be checking out. Uh, it seems like a, a cool kind of midnight movie to me, and I'm quite a fan of those where it, it's not a good film at all, but it's really enjoyable in that kind of just midnight movie kind of way, like a film you'd see at like one o'clock in the morning on TV back in the day with like fuzzy reception and stuff. I love films like that sometimes, and I'm a huge fan of uh, Roddy Piper. Uh, we have an interview with Roddy Piper, an interview with another actor in the film, an interview with an effects uh, worker on the film, an extended scene, and an original trailer. So some some good special features. Does this say this is only 67 minutes? No, 87 minutes. I'm going to say quite a short film. Anyway, Hell Comes to Frogtown. Next we have uh, one that does have the booklet. This is one of the few in my order that does still retain the original booklet. It is uh, Rollerball. Now, I originally uh, picked this up when it came out, never watched it, and then sold it because I needed money to go and see David Gilmour, uh, which was far worth it, I'm sure, than this. But uh, I'm still intrigued to check this out. I thought I'd pick it back up again. Uh, and again, with the 5 for 30 deal, these come out at £6 each, which is a great price when Arrow puts so much into the, you know, the, the quality of the video, the extras, the presentation, things like that. Uh, and this one, uh, I just, I'm really intrigued because of James Kahn, who I'm a big fan of. And there's a brand new interview with him on here, which is pretty cool. There's an audio commentary, bunch of interviews and kind of uh, vintage featurettes, things like that. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's some kind of like futuristic kind of uh, almost like the running man in a way I guess very limited knowledge on this and the same on most of these films but I'm intrigued to check it out obviously uh, next up we have a film from Toby Hooper uh, and just the cover alone has always enticed me since it first came out Life Force um, science fiction film know nothing about it I know that Patrick Stewart is in it that is a big sell for me and a lot of my kind of decision making for all of these that I picked up was okay who's in it <laughs> Uh, what kind of film is it, you know, and what kind of extras does it have? And I, I look at the screenshots to kind of get a visual feel for the film, just a little sneak, not look at any trailers or anything. I like to go in blind on a lot of this stuff. Uh, and this one just seemed to catch my eye. And uh, again, I won't lie, the cover did a lot for that. Uh, this one doesn't have the booklet and has audio commentary with uh, the director. Another audio, three audio commentaries, holy shit. Um, a, an exclusive uh, documentary. Uh, made for this release, all sorts of interviews, great stuff. Um, yeah, looking forward to that one. Next, another booklet-less release, uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This is the 70s version, and again, 
what sold me on this was Donald Sutherland. Huge fan of him, I think he's a phenomenal actor. And I haven't seen any of the many versions I've been of this, this story, this film. And uh, I think that's a very um, famous image of him pointing there that has been uh, immortalized on the artwork on the front. I've seen that image a lot around the internet. Uh, this one has uh, audio commentary with the director, Philip Kaufman. A uh, bunch of uh, you know featurettes, uh, making of, uh, interviews, all sorts of stuff. Just just general. I'm kind of just skimming through. There's no point being super in depth with, with any of this because these are all titles that have been out for ages. But Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This one I've wanted to get for years. In fact, long before I even knew this was an Arrow video title, uh, I've wanted to check this out. And just looking at the cover now is getting me really excited to watch it. In fact, I probably should have put this a little bit higher on the list uh, of kind of anticipation. No booklet again, unfortunately but it is Christopher Walken in The King of New York. Is it The King? No, just King of New York. That cover alone is awesome. And the cast, David Caruso, Lawrence Fishburne, Wesley Snipes, Christopher Walken, holy moly. Uh, as far as I'm aware, a crime film uh, must be set in New York as well. Um, and yeah, we got audio commentary with the composer, okay, the producer and the casting director and the editor. Another commentary with the director. Brand new interview with the director, uh, a documentary on the director. Um, so yeah, th there's quite a, quite a few cool bits and pieces in there. So Christopher Walken is out of prison and back on the dirty streets of New York as convicted drug lord Frank White in a pitch black 90s crime classic. Uh, yeah, sounds great. Really can't wait to check it out. Love Christopher Walken, a huge fan of him. Now to the, the top five. Um, and this one again has no booklet, but I believe this was... Uh, a steelbook exclusive release as far as the booklet goes anyway and it is Takeshi Miki Miki's my case I, I, I've heard people say Takeshi Takashi Miki I've heard that maybe that's a correct pronunciation audition this is in the book thousand one movies you must see before you die so I gotta watch it I've heard from who was it Brian Lomax I think said uh, in some stream or something he said uh, the, the best way to go into this is not knowing anything about it maybe he said it in, in his podcast Brits on Flix go check it out yeah uh, so yeah, I think it was. He was talking about his favorite um, top five foreign horror films, and I think this was on the list or uh, honorable mention something. I'm going far too in depth on this, but yeah, uh, I really want to check this out. Love Japanese films. Um, really, just I'm a big fan of them. Audio commentary with the director. That's interesting. That's what I'm guessing. It's subtitled. Uh, I'm intrigued by that. Uh, okay, another. Uh, Commentary with uh, a biographer of the director, an introduction by the director, a brand new interview with the director, uh, interviews with the stars of the film, and an appreciation by the the, the trustworthy uh, Asian expert uh, Tony Raines. That's nice. So, audition. Uh, this one, I'm really re oh, this one has a booklet as well. That's cool. It's it feels like a nice little win when one of them has the booklet still. Uh, and I actually went into HMV the other day and they had all the Arrow video titles there and uh, I was picking all of them up to see if they had booklets and it was just like, nope, 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 they've got rid of all of them. Uh, or most of them anyway. This one, just again, the cover alone, but also just the concept, uh, Night of the Comet. Uh, I looked at the screenshots of this film and it just looked like a kind of an abandoned city and everything was kind of bathed in this red, orangey glow of an impending comet about to hit Earth. And there's something I found so terrifying and yet morbidly fascinating about the idea of an asteroid or a comet uh, on a crash course for Earth. I, I love films like that, Armageddon, Deep Impact. Uh, there was a TV series or a TV kind of mini-series in the 90s called Asteroid, I think. It had Michael Bean in it. And I don't remember anything about it. I just remember being so excited to watch it when I was a kid and I recorded it and I only saw half of it. Maybe I made that up, maybe that's the Mandela effect, but I just had this very vivid memory of this thing called Asteroid, I think, and I was so excited about it and telling people in school about it. Anyway, Night of the Comet, uh, as far as I'm aware, is a film about a comet about to hit Earth, um, and it has a bunch of special features, as you would expect. Audio commentary with the stars of the film, audio commentary with the director, audio commentary with the production designer. You see how, how in-depth they go with these releases. Although, in some cases, they have ported them over from other companies who have done this stuff. Uh, brand new interview with... Um, uh, a star of the film, special effects, makeup creator, all, all sorts of good stuff as usual. Um, so, yeah, uh, Doomsday kind of movies I'm re a really big fan of and uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this one. And then finally we have kind of three films that none of them I'm looking forward to more than the other, I guess. Maybe the, the last one more than the others, but um, I picked up the recent, in fact I have it right here, the uh, Phenomena release 
from Arrow Video. Just absolutely stunning. Loved this film. I did a, a full movie vlog on it. If you want to see that, I go in depth watching the film for the very first time. I've listened to the audio commentary now as well and plan to watch the special features. I might even do a dedicated Blu-ray review for that. I think it's an incredible release. And after watching S S Suspiria last October for my uh, month of, of horror reviews in October, I'm now a big Argento fan. I love his style, I love his films, and so I wanted to check out more of them. And it just so happens that Arrow Video have a lot of them in their back catalog. So, first up, Tenebrae. Know nothing about it, and I should turn my phone off. Uh, but yeah, won't even go into that one. There's no booklet in that one, but there's literally nothing I know about it. But I just, based on kind of brand loyalty at this point, uh, for Argento himself, I, I just had to check it out. Uh, this one does have the booklet, um, and it is Inferno. I think this is more towards the 80s, again not too sure, I don't think it even says on the back what year it was released, but um, yeah, this one for some reason seemed to stand out to me more than the other ones, um, so I just, yeah, that was one I definitely want to check, I love these the, the artwork they've done for some of these, maybe the uh, Tenebrae not so much, that is a very nice image, but I really like this one. That's a great cover, uh, piece of cover art. And then finally, the one I probably am looking forward to the most because people kind of hype it up the most and in the commentary for Phenomena, the um, the guy who's doing the commentary was hyping up this one and it is Deep Red. Uh, now this had a really nice kind of special edition release that is long out of print now and goes for crazy money so I figured I'd pick up this one. Sadly, uh, it is just a very light release, no booklet or anything, but it does have a, a brand new 4K uh, restoration, much like Phenomena, much like the upcoming release of The Bird with Crystal Plumage, which I will, will be getting. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure this will look phenomenal, and the lack of booklet really isn't going to uh, make up uh, too much of a difference. Um, we have an audio commentary with an expert on Argento, brand new visual essay, um, the director on the film, uh, and lots of other things as well. And this one is, I mean, a lot of Argento films have had multiple releases from Arrow Video. I think Phenomena has like four or five. So people are getting a bit wary of these, but uh, this one seems to be kind of the, the latest and greatest release with the 4K restoration and things like that. Uh, oh, aided by a throbbing score from the regular Argento collaborators, Goblin. Yes, I love the, the Goblin music with Argento films, so... This is the one I'm probably the most excited for, purely because I'm on this kind of Argento kick. So there we go. There's the 10 hour video titles. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've seen any of these films, uh, without spoiling much, obviously. Uh, and if you should recommend me kind of ways to put other films at the bottom of my list, up towards the top. Maybe you think that uh, Rollerball is a classic and I should watch that sooner than the others. I don't know. But um, I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, on anything and everything Arrow Video and the titles I've just shown. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Apart from the fact he throws cans of Carlin into a tree. Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, he's really cool. But he's not quite as cool as you.